You can start the day in photography and never know what's going to happen during that day. And you can take a picture during that day that could change a lot of things. You never know when that big moment's going to come. Probably when you least expect it. In South Africa, I hope I'm going to be taking a portrait of a lion in the environment that defines that lion. I think the Scots as a whole, because we're a small nation, we're proud. We want to be the best we possibly can at everything we try and do. For a photograph to be evocative, I think being close to the animals are important. I want to try and take pictures where people think they understand the animal better as a result of the photograph. Photography is about the heart. It's about what you feel. Ansel Adams said the lens looks both ways. Looking ahead to South Africa, I'm going to be taking a portrait of a lion and hopefully that will result in one draw-dropping image. I'm not interested in small animals. I know a lot of people are interested in baby cubs and whatever. I want, I want, if we're going to get an alpha animal, get a fully grown alpha animal. I mean, there has to be a decent chance we don't get it. We are going to see my friend Kevin Richardson and his lions. It's a sanctuary. I know he does a lot of work and understands lion behavior. It's very important these days in the conservation battles that you have spokesmen like Kevin. How's it, brother? You could have shaved, mate. You've lost some weight. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a camera on me. I've got one of the prototypes, it's state of the art. It's a D850, which continues their very successful category killer, D810 and D800. Yeah. It's faster than anything I worked with before. It's higher resolution than anything I worked with before. Well, just bear in mind that I can't be responsible if for the lion takes it. If the lion takes well, it. Well, they said, they, they said it was lion proof. I don't really <laughs> know what that means. But... All right, come, let's go. Working very close, you cannot compromise on your shutter speed. So you're gonna need some light. Get the line to jump over the water. I'm focused about two foot from the camera, two and a half foot from the camera. Yeah. You can see what I was trying to do. Once water just hit the lens from the pole, that's just one of the things that happens. Eh? Tough gig. We'll get it right tomorrow morning. It is frustrating, but it is what it is. This is not a zoo. Best to just come back, regroup, re-strategize, think again, and go somewhere else. You've just always got to be looking forward. Your own crusade of self-improvement. It's a little bit of pressure to get a photograph that does the surroundings, the wildlife, the camera justice. With the sun rising, we could get some great stuff with just the dirt flying around and I'm going to use a longer lens. Uh, which is not really my trademark, but why not? I'm, I'll go in the cage, I think, and try and work from the cage. Oh, okay. The light, everything is perfect. I just need to get a bit of dynamism. Eat him later. All it takes is one shot. All good things come to those who wait. Wow. Good job. 
<laughs> you hopefully turn into the photographer you always wanted to be, but that's a never-ending process. As soon as we go on something else, this shoot is over. I don't care about yesterday, I care about tomorrow.